Hi, Greg D'Souza back again with the LGA, the Liturgical Guitar Association. This project is to uh, help you to um, think about how you can lead the congregation with a guitar, uh, providing the melody for them to, to follow. Um, you need to know the names of the strings of the guitar. You need to know the notes on the guitar. Uh, I would encourage you to get a book and learn how to read the notes uh, for the guitar, find your way around. Um, but I'm just going to talk through my thinking as I make an arrangement uh, of these hymns on a fly. I'm going to play for you today uh, an ancient tool called Bun Isan. It's a Gaelic uh, melody. Uh, you may know it as Morning Has Broken. I'm playing it from uh, the Catholic Book of Worship 3. Uh, number 650, This Day God Gives Me. It is in the key of C, so the chords are all uh, really quite uh, normal and easy uh, chords that we're familiar with. I'll play it through, and then we'll break it down. So let's break it down. So we start with the C chord. We're going to play the melody E, C, E, G, normal C chord. Then I need to play a high C at the A fret. For that, I'm going to use the A voice of the chord. So it's A. I add the note A here so we don't have that open string. It becomes B, becomes C. The next chord is a D minor chord, and for that I'm going to use the F minor shape of a chord. F minor, D minor, A minor, B minor, C minor, D minor. But I don't need this full chord. I can use the open D string and just these top three notes for D minor. After that we go back to the G, and we want the note B. So B. Or I could play B, A, G, your choice, whichever way you prefer. And then we come to A minor again. Instead of using the full A minor, I use the open string in the top note getting this A, followed by a G in the C. That's a third fret on the first string. Continuing, we go to A minor again, but this time in the normal A minor, we want the C. So that's already there. D, open E, a G chord with a normal G at the top, A minor, get that high A, back to the G now, open E, C, G. Now we do the a C chord again, G, G, E, now I want A minor with the high, it's just like the C, those chords are very closely related. Take a look at your theory. And then F, again you can do it this way as well if you prefer. Now the C going down from the E, G, E, C, a normal F chord. We're going to play this C as our melody note on the second string, first fret, and then a G with the D for the melody. Now E, C with an E, D, E, now the G. Did you see how I did that? So open E string, third fret on the second string, D, open E string, third fret on the first string, G, up to the F, and then down to a G with a D, open E string, 3rd fret, D, 
and then C. So you suggest the chord sometimes, sometimes you play the melody notes, sometimes you use passing uh, notes in thirds or sixths or by themselves. It's just a matter of thinking about it. If you're not a fingerstyle player, you can still make use of this uh, by using your pick. These notes become really accessible by the, for the pick and the top, and you can strum along um, as well. Um, good luck with it. The first couple are difficult, and after that, I'm sure you're going to be able to do these um, on the fly, figuring them out as you go. Get practicing. <laughs>